Today we are comparing human gels versus goop. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Susie and this is I Run Things. Today we are comparing goo versus human gels. When you are a runner, you're doing a long run, typically you will have fuel with you. You will either carry electrolytes in the form of a drink, potentially, or you will carry with you tabs or chews or gels like this. So in another video, I compared goo versus honey stinger. I gave you my personal opinion and I also kind of compared both in terms of nutritional value and what they provide when you are undertaking a long distance event. I'm gonna follow that same structure on this video and I'm gonna compare both. So, both of these, actually I have a full box of human gels. I will show you we have all this and I have already had four, so the box had, I think 16, not sure how many, but I've already had four. I ha had four, two on a 21 miler and another two on a 14 miler. So I'm gonna give you my personal opinion on the texture and the flavors. I haven't tried all the flavors possible. There's a myriad of flavors right here, but I have only tried Strawberry, I actually don't have strawberry left. This is raspberry. I've tried strawberry and another berry and chocolate. Those are the three flavors I have tried. So yeah, let's dig right in. If you are familiar with goose, goose primarily come in two different lines of product. We have the regular goo, which I don't have on hand right now and you have the Goo Roctane, which is this one. Goo's Roctane contain more amino acids. One of the amino acids it contains is beta alanine, which is right here, right there. This beta alanine is supposed to make you perform better, especially again in endurance events. Human gels don't contain amino acids. So that's the main difference in between both products. Okay, and now this package is so massively large, it contains 15 gels. This is a new release from Goo, bought another pouch, again with my own money, and in every pouch of Goo, you can fit five gels and you can reutilize that so you don't have to actually throw things, it's less waste, and I have been enjoying that very, very much because you just put five and there's a line to measure how many you want to take with you, so, but mostly for my long runs i've been filling it up to five so you're gonna see the comparison let's see if we can do this this one you can see clearly right there and this you will see right there okay there's no glare right now both contain 100 calories both contain in between like 20 22 23 grams of carbs which is pretty standard it does not seem like the roctane has potassium that's Potassium sorbate as preservative, but it doesn't make it to list of nutritional facts. So my guess is this doesn't really even make to 1% of the potassium you need. This one contains caffeine. This particular one does not contain caffeine, but they have others with caffeine in them. Let me find one. This one says one X caffeine, one time the caffeine, and this one has See if I can find it. How much caffeine does this have? 25. This has 25 milligrams of caffeine, and this one has 50 milligrams of caffeine. So there are gels if you're looking for caffeine. There are gels that have more than this, more than 50 um, on the market. I can think of a couple brands. And this one contains caffeine. How much? So 35. So it's kind of in between. This is 35. Is in between of the one time caffeine humid gel and twice caffeine humid gel. Hopefully that makes sense. Now, in terms of the texture, which for a lot of us is the most important thing when you we are consuming this type of fueling, I very much like goo. The first gel I ever tried, I still like it. I still look forward to having a gel, a goo, when I'm running, it's not for a lot of people. The consistency is a lot, even this blueberry pomegranate. 
The consistency is very much like caramel. So it's like the caramel on Sundays at McDonald's, that caramel is that thick consistency. As a matter of fact, the, the goo flavor that's caramel, so the caramel is very much like the McDonald's syrup they put on top. So in case you've never had it, it's delicious. It's my favorite flavor. These, depending on the flavor, I have noticed the consistency is different. The goo consistency tends to be pretty thick and it tends to be the same notwithstanding the flavor. So it's very similar in consistency. Huma gels have chia seeds and some of them are less thick than others. You tell when you touch it, you can, this one offers more pressure to your hand. This one is more liquidy and I can already tell. I have had the cafe mocha before. It is pretty thick. This one is a lot thinner. So if you're thinking of trying Huma gels and you like something that's thinner in consistency, go for touch it because you're gonna feel it. So this one, for example, raspberry is already thicker, more dense than the lemon one. Now, and this is a personal preference. You guys might agree or disagree with me. My preference is something thicker. Why? Because when I'm running, if I open one and I just squirt it, if it's liquidy, it just goes so quick. I much rather have something like goo because it's not food because you're not gonna be able to chew on it. Not at all, but it's been thicker. It's just, it just stays in my palate longer. The flavor stays longer and it makes me, gives me a longer lasting effect. You know, the saltiness and the sugarness, all of that just, it gives me a kick. Then the more liquidy ones won't give me. So for what it's worth, I know some people just like them thinner so you know like that consistency that more liquidy consistency so if that's the case go for this touch them because again when you touch them you're gonna know i've never done it i'm sure i'm not the only weirdo out there who does that so yeah i'm really excited about this flavor actually it's apples and cinnamon i like cinnamony stuff a lot for those of you who are interested in learning if they are made in the usa or not Huma is made in the USA, it's vegan friendly. Goo is also made in the USA and also vegan friendly. Both are gluten free. And if you're one of those people that are concerned about the ingredient list, definitely the ingredient list on the Huma gel is shorter and it's more natural. The one in Goo has a lot more wonky ingredients, more like blah, 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 extract, blah, 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 preservative, blah, 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 whatever gum. So it definitely has a different longer list of ingredients and this looks to be more natural. This, I think this would be more something you could do on your own. You could make your own gel. This would be more like that. This is more processed. Now I'm gonna give you my overall impression. I do think human gels are more natural, however, the fact that the, the goo gels have amino acids makes me feel better. And in all honesty, I perform better when I have goo gels as opposed to other kinds of gel. I perform better when I have goo roctane as opposed to just the regular goo. And that's because it contains more amino acids and I just think my body likes it better. Could also be completely placebo effects. There is such a thing as placebo effects. So I think in the end, this is something that you're gonna have to try yourself and see what agrees with your stomach and what makes you feel better. Because a lot of these is perception, is how you perceive that particular brand is helping you perform better or is helping you feel better or is helping you punk later in your race or event. So if you're interested in more reviews of products, I have a whole list of product reviews. I will put it right here so you guys can go check it out. I do weekly running vlogs. They're actually very popular and I would love for you to subscribe to the channel and you can do so on my face. Run fearless, you guys. Bing!